Okay, hello everybody. Um, so I didn't stream last night because I was at poker night, and uh, but I did spin the wheel. I ended up with F sharp for day two, uh, and I got part one done. Um, but we're gonna do we're gonna finish that up today. Um, but before I do, I'm gonna spin the wheel for day three to figure out what language I'm gonna be doing. So uh, here we go. And depending on what this lands on, okay, O'Camel. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is finish up day two. Um, I, I'm on part two already. Um, I, I solved part one. Um, so I, I think I'm gonna do uh, part two here and then continue on from there. So, um, so, the first order of business is actually like getting syntax highlighting because it was like impossible to use this last night. Um, uh, so I need to install the um, tree sitter, I think. Neo Invem tree sitter F sharp. Like I need syntax highlighting. Like I at least need syntax highlighting. So let's see. Um, I also need a language client. So server configurations is I think where I need to go. Invim tree sitter F sharp. Let's look at this documentation as well. Um, supported languages, CDEF. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is saying that there is some F sharp thing over here. FS autocomplete. And there's also F sharp language server. Okay, this seems promising. I'm gonna open up both of these. Uh, is this like the actual official F sharp? Okay, so it seems like It seems like this is the thing I want to, to use. Uh, how do I install it? Oh, perfect. Okay, so it's already in here. I guess I'll zoom in a little bit. Let me check the stream here. There we go. I think that's about the right size. There we go. Um, okay, so TypeScript f sharp .net SDK and then I also need fs auto -comment. I need to do that. 
And then here, so I need to do this. So let me ask the config. F ls. Okay. Oops. Okay, there we go. FS autocomplete seems fine. Automatic workspace in it. That seems good enough. Okay, so I should be able to now have auto completion. And I still, I guess I still need syntax highlighting, but let me make sure that that's working first. And so how am I supposed to install this? So it looks like I can just add in a parser pretty easily. But let's just see if um, this works at all. That LSP info. Okay. I'm just getting copilot suggestions. What the heck? Maybe if I do like, yeah, there's no auto completion yet. So what is this that what is this parameter that I passed it? <laughs> so so do I need to configure it somehow? I don't want to really install this. I want I want a language client to work just work for me, you know. Okay, let's try. Let's try this. So, let's see. Client one quit with Exico one and signal zero. That doesn't seem ideal.
uh, LSP uh, F sharp. Oh, there's some input sequences empty. Huh. Okay, let's go back to the, oh, shoot, this one. Adaptive LSP server enabled, that seems okay. So FS autocomplete, or what, what parameters can I pass here? Maybe I need to like set the directory. What if I open up the program from here? Did I did I do the switch? No. Okay. Dang it. Why is this, why is this not working? Oh. Glibc. Okay, weird, but. Let's try if, and see if this works. Maybe it will. FS autocomplete. So, I mean, I don't really know. I don't know why it's not working. That's gonna be a really annoying for later days if I don't have this working, but I guess we'll just go with, I guess we'll just, um, we'll just deal with it. Um, so, So I, I I was I'm not quite sure how the syntax here works. Let's just do X here. So dot dot net. I think it's dot net run, right? That's how it's supposed to work. Let me make sure that I got the right answer. I'm just gonna go on to part 
to reg um, 2105. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to go on to part two. Four red, two green, six blue. So equal to the numbers of red, green, blue multiplied together. Power of the, of the minimum set of, okay. Adding up these five powers. So add up the powers, okay. So I'm gonna just go on to this part two without syntax highlight and without autocomplete. I have copilot, so. Um, a equals lines sequence dot map. Okay, so I want to copy a lot of this stuff. Probably about to there. Wait, I don't need this one at all. Because I just need the sum of these. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Look like Lisp now. Uh, okay, so array dot map. So I'm splitting by this, getting the first one. Splitting by these, okay, and then array dot map. Split by that these things, then we get all of af out of this should be the set of number to to blues. And then what I want to do, and does it matter the colors? It doesn't matter. Now it actually doesn't really matter the colors. Like, well, oh, no, no, no it does. Okay, so. Array dot. I need to like, I need to reduce here, I think. I am just gonna use Copilot here, see if that does anything. So second of the accumulator So I think this operator like passes this as the first argument or something, or the last argument, I don't really know. I guess I should l research it, but whatever. Um, I mean, this seems, this seems right. No. Okay, let's F sharp. Let's research how to use this thing. List.fold.
Let's just use list.fold. Because that has documentation. So how do I how do I get a dictionary? Hmm. Okay, let me just make sure that this is working. Oh. Shoot. There we go. I need to actually have a function in there, I think. There we go. Why is it a sequence of nothing? Oh. Okay, let me just like make sure that this works at all. Oh. I need like a array. How do I how do I do that? F sharp. So, so basically, like the yield is the problem here. Okay, cool, cool. That's kind of neat that you can like do this list comprehension type thing. So I guess, I, I assume that I can do something like let lines equal this, right? Hey Joshua. Nice job. 188, 158. So um, for context here, in case you were wondering why I'm like being so bad at this, I'm um, I'm spinning a wheel every night to determine what language I'm doing. I'm catching up. I, I only did part one yesterday, so I'm doing part two of day two. Um, and I spun F sharp last night, so um, I'm really learning how this works. Um, I guess that's not how this works. Uh, so let's see. Um, where's that? So I, I don't even, so, so what am I trying to do again? Like I, I've been spending so long trying to get syntax highlighting, which I failed to do. I'll have to do that later. And I need a language server at some point, but. 
I'm trying to find the power of these things. Okay, so the number of red, green, and blue, minimum number of the, okay, so I'm really bad at functional programming. Let's see. So I guess I, I make a tuple here, right? Ray.fold on accumulator X, and then I'll just copy that because that's fine. And then zero comma zero comma zero. Let's go with that as our initial set value. And then if it's blue, let's go with Is there a max? Like, is that a function? Is, is this going to work? Is Copilot lying to me? Here, let's see if I can just do this one. You know, Copilot is going to come for our jobs, isn't it? Okay, never mind. It sucks at programming. Yeah, I don't actually know what this does. <laughs> I probably should figure it out. I I think it is something like fixed point because like I've I've been looking at like it's like this thing here, right? Like fold you get you get the string and n, so like the accumulator and n. Uh. Let's see. It's basically what Copilot recommended to me, and I just copied it. Okay, parses the result of the left side of the function, passes the result of the left side to the right side, forward pipe operator. So I don't know how. Okay, so, so interesting. I don't know where it passes it. But that, that's. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so now I have to just decipher what this means. Tuples having differing lengths. Okay, so that's not ideal. Where are my differing length tuples here? Oh wait, so x so okay so third is just not a thing get n element from tuple F sharp. Um, okay, um, that's an Improvement. So forty one, forty two. So what? Where's forty one? So this is expect expression ex expected to have type int. Why is it expecting it to be of type int? Does like the fold not allow you to change the type? Okay, maybe I should do what Joshua was saying here. Well, the problem is it's like within this whole array.map. Ah, this is annoying. Thanks for hopping by, Joshua. Uh, 
Let's see. So, so where am I getting the wrong? Maybe this max function isn't doing what I think. F sharp. Hmm. Up is is that not like a a built-in? Um. Yeah, maybe I should zoom this in a little bit. There you go. Let me check the stream here. Hmm. So Oh, these are the ones. Okay. I'm sure there's a better way to do that. Like, I'm sure there's like a function that you're supposed to use, but. Oh, shoot. 43, 42, 40, 42. Um, well, I need to also change this. So, hmm. I don't know. Number one T prime. Hmm. Uh, like I was searching for get nth element ask, accessing specific, but, and I got this accessing specific member. That's where I got like, I guess, I guess this is the way to do it, right? Like, that's probably how I'm supposed to do it. Like use actual pattern matching. So like maybe here to let a B, C, in a tuple, which I just do like this is now B and this one's C. Oh, shoot. Um, max first. That's why it's failing. So accumulator, I need like the, the A element of the accumulator. A, B, C equals hack. And then I need, I actually do need first of X. A. That's probably what I want. Yeah, that looks like what I want. Assuming this compiles at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so this is the this is definitely this feels like it. So and yeah, I can just do A, B, C here. And then and then down here I can I can I can just do I, I think Copilot can help me out with this part. Yeah, yeah, it knows how to do this. Okay. Okay. 
So what am I supposed to do now? Like, I I've forgotten what the problem is. <laughs> I think I need to do the same reduction again, right? Because it's like per game. So this gives me like... Oh, this was probably useless, right? Well, it destructures it into the right tuples. I I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Okay, and then I just gonna, I'm just i gonna copy paste this and then see if this works. Like, does that do the sec, like, oh, shoot. Um, so X is now X, Y, Z. Oh, and this is just, this is just a maximization now. Uh, max X, yeah, 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 that, that's, that's what I want. Okay, this is promising. And then I can do Yeah, I, I need to get back to like, you know, using tuple destructuring. I, I've been writing so much go. I don't even know like I, I, I've, I've forgotten all this stuff. Destructure X. Oh yeah, that, that would be a better way of doing this, right? I'll do that later if, if this works. Okay, so that didn't work. Maybe I just need to like, let B equals A. I don't know the rules for like when it allows you to to pipe it or not. So I'll have to figure that out. Yay, I did it. Yeah, no copilot's pretty good. Like it, it figured that out, which is nice. Okay, so let's do B uh turn A into blue, B into green and uh, with three e's apparently uh, c into red and then over here count color color count count and count so that should still give me the same result. There we go. Okay. No. Okay, so these two. Red. No, wait. This is the accumulator, right? Act blue. B is going to be accumulator green. So infix operator, hmm. A, H, B, B. Yeah. Yeah, that seems to that seems to be right. I'm gonna have to do a bit more research on how like this is actually working, but you know. I'm just happy that I solved it, honestly. All right, so um, we don't need these.
I don't know, that was not needed. Oh, shoot. Um, don't, uh, let's see, how do I... Yeah, I, I, I get what you mean, though, like, um, I, I, I write, like, I taught OCaml, so, so that, the type syntax that you're using here in the stream is, like, pretty familiar to me, um, so, anyway, yeah, good luck on your race tomorrow. Okay, so, oh shoot, what did I do? Okay. Implement day two in F sharp. Okay, now, um, I guess, what time is it? Yeah, let's go ahead and do day three. And what, what did I get? OCaml, okay, so I do know how to write OCaml a bit better than F sharp. Oh dear, oh dear. Ugh, seriously? Okay, whatever. Um, so, I do have some other OCaml. Okay. Do all of them have the same read file thing that I have? Yeah, that looks like the sort of standard thing that I've been doing. Okay, so this will give me lines at least. So, any number adjacent to a symbol Oh, this is going to be so annoying. Oh my gosh. Some of all the part numbers in the engine schematic. You know what? Um, I think we're just going to call it here. I don't really want to do this tonight. Maybe I'll do this tomorrow. Um,
it feels it feels really annoying, especially in OCaml. <laughs> this sounds like not very much fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off until tomorrow. We'll we'll get back to OCaml um, next go around. So um, anyway, happy with happy with ha the fact that I finished up day two at least with F sharp. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll um, we'll call it there. I'll see you all tomorrow at some point. Um, I'll probably start the stream early to try and solve this um, and then proceed from there. So thanks for watching.